This video is brought to you by Bakanje Beral Group. For information, contact or WhatsApp us at 064-7355-674. Info at vakanjegroup.co.za. That's our image. Bakanje Group, we are family. Ay, yeah, 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 Channel that matches the most. I go and book water. Yay, while lava, I will love you when it is for you when you my name is Amukelaka. The only channel that matters to watch. Uh, the divisions in the MK are now starting to happen. The real divisions, not those of Kumal. When you listen to the president, when you listen to Zuma in the memorial service that was held in that stadium where he was speaking about some members who were unruly, who were misbehaving there, he was saying that if you have a problem with a certain leader, come address it to the leadership. Don't do it in the, in the memorial service. It means you don't have respect for these people. When Bonginkosi Kanyili took the mic to speak with the members of Mkonto Sizwe, he said something like there are people who are like Kumal who are coming in to infiltrate the youth league, to divide the youth league, because now they sit with these people and they're next to Zuma, they sit next to you. But do the but do the hey, yeah, but good do the now go Ah, ha la la Samaka Shangani feet. Right. So and people are close to him now about Floyd. You know, like this or maga ego, or the truth is, this or maga ego. When Flo when Bunginkos was expelled in the EFF, Floyd Shibam was a deputy president of that uh, of that uh, just at the head of disciplinary committee, I think is um Marshal Dlamin, uh, who is the secretary general. So I think Bunginkos sees that he might not have a future in the MK and they see that these divisions are no longer the divisions per se, these are threats. And remember, um, the top leadership always have their own preferred candidates for for youth league, women's league, and stuff like that. So that's what they're doing there. So I think now it's happening because when Bongol Kanyele speaks, he has so much uh, influence in them. He, he has been there through the founding phase. It's just that he got too excited during the election there to remove him a bit to him, for him to lie, to lie low uh, so that um, he doesn't seem like if President Zuma doesn't, what, 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 there won't be elections. No, those things. That's why they removed him. It was not because he was ill-disciplined or was misbehaving within the movement. It was just, he said the wrong things which he said into the public, which were going to um, be taken to court or some sort of a thing. He is going to court, by the way. So it was because now he was speaking on behalf of the MK. So it that looks like the MK took a decision on behalf of the party to deal with the matter. So... Are we going to see people like after the conference? But in Kompang is leave the MK. When will the conference be? Remember, South African politics have changed. Only few political parties still re respect conferences. DA, EFF, ANC. Most of these political parties do not have conferences. Your PA, your Freedom Front Plus, your Action SA, your um, all of these parties were started by these individuals who are who are so obsessed with power and positions they don't go to conferences.